Sectoral committees are departmentary, related committees in accordance with Rules 187 and 188 of the Rules of Procedure whose composition is determined at the start of each new session. Sectoral committees of Parliament have a responsibility not far from deliberating on policy matters affecting line ministries and sectors, including evaluation of their respective budget estimates. These consist of not less than 15 members and not more than 30 members. However, at the moment, majority of the committees of Parliament, save for those that are chaired by the opposition, a case in point, the Public Accounts Committee, Local Government Accounts Committee, Committee on State Assets and Statutory Enterprises, are ruling running without substantive chairpersons following an intelligence report from Internal Security Organization and the Criminal Intelligence Directorate of Police to the President that many of the chairpersons from the ruling party were employed in corruption scandals associated with the interference of the budgeting process through soliciting bribes from accounting officers of government to enhance their ministerial votes. During a media engagement at Parliament, the government chief whip, Hamson Obua, expounded on what is left on the overview process to clear the potential nominee chairpersons by sec. But when it comes to the leadership, more is done in line with what is provided for in the constitution of NRM and in the NRM Parliamentary Caucus Rules of Procedure in order for us to come up with leaders who are up to the task. So rest assured, all has been done. What is now pending is only the approval of the nominees as proposed by the Central Executive Committee of NRM. Apparently, the Internal Security Organization and Police CID are in final stages of scrutinizing academic credentials and criminal records of more than 100 members from the ruling NRM who expressed interest in leadership vacancies of sectoral committees before the Central Executive Committee of the NRM take a final decision on the fate of each contender. So we are very, very much um, optimistic and we pray that by that time we would have sat such that by the day we are sitting on the 23rd, the first item would be accomplishing the unfinished business of designating parliamentary committees. Recent media reports indicated that there was dissenting voices in the recently concluded Central Executive Committee of the NRM on approving 13 contenders over corruption allegations who had expressed interest in the leadership of committees' names withheld. However, Oboa made clarifications on the clearance of the 13 suspected contenders on corruption counts. Now, for the 13 leaders who were affected, all of them had either served for two or more years, implying they had hit the mark that was resolved by the NRM Central Executive Committee. Currently, there are 13 vacant positions in terms of chairpersons and deputy chairpersons, as well as five MPs from the ruling NRM under arrest and facing trials in the anti-corruption court over corruption allegations of tinkering with the budget process and soliciting bribes from accounting officers of government to enhance their ministerial votes. Lydia Chomkama and Gloria Gutavinji, Parliament.